how to backing up with rsync using ansible i'm going to show you a live demo and some simple ansible code i'm luca berton and welcome in today's episode of ansible pilot today we are talking about ansible module synchronize the full name is ansible.posix.synchronize, which means that it is part of collection targeting POSIX platforms. So not only Linux, also macOS and other Unix compliance system. Basically it is a wrapper around rsync to make common tasks in your playbook quick and easy. AirSync is a utility for efficiently transferring and synchronizing files between a computer and a storage drive and across network computer by comparing the modification time and size of file. AirSync must be installed on both the local and the remote host. Currently, there are only a few connection types which support synchronize. SSH, Paramico, Local and Docker because a sync strategy has been determined for those connection type. Parameter The parameter list is pretty wide but I'm going to summarize the most important option for synchronize module. The only man mandatory parameter are SRC and DEST parameter. The SRC parameter is mandatory and specify the path on the source host that will be synchronized to the destination. The path can be absolute or relative. Same story for DEST parameter that specify the path on the destination host that will be synchronized from the source. Paths could be local or remote according to your needs. The most useful parameter is archive that mirrors the rsync archive flag, enabling recursive links, permission, time, owner, group flag, and it's enabled by default. So in the majority of use cases, you don't need to specify anything else. Please refer to manual to enable disable some specific setting. It's possible also to specify more rsync parameter via the rsync underscore ops parameter for advanced user. Demo time. Let's jump in a real life demo about how to back up with rsync using Ansible playbook. I'm going to show you how to replicate one example directory tree in a Linux machine using the rsync utility via synchronized module. Wait a minute. If you want more information about rsync and the delta encoding that is based for minimizing network users, jump directly to the wikipedia page here there are a lot of information about also history about uh, mm, supported uh, operating system as you can see this utility was ported everywhere like from uh, traditional linux unix context uh, to bsd Ma and mac os and windows as well is used a lot for data transferring and backup in general as you can see, this utility is fundamental for a lot of well-known Linux, macOS, Windows backup system. So definitely it's worth it to take a look on the Wikipedia page. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to backup example directory between my host, Ansible host and one target Linux machine. First of all, let's start our play with a name Synchronize Module Demo that is target hosts all of my inventory 
let me define become false to use as a default the normal user. Then let me define two variables, one is the source address path where the my file reside. As you can see, I'm using also the escape inside a, sim a single quote notation. And on the destination, I would like my directory to be called example backup. So basically, examples is on the controller and example backup is on my target machine. Two tasks. The first is to verify that rsync is installed using ansible.built-in. Let me use a package because uh, this package uh, is called uh, rsync in all the distribution. So state uh, will be present. But I need to run this code uh, as a uh, root. So let me specify become true. So only this task will be executed as a uh, root user. Now finally we could synchronize our data. So let's use ansible.posix.synchronize module. Finally, two parameter mandatory source that will be the value of my source variable and destination that will be the value of my destination variable. Here we go, that's it. We are able to synchronize, so to actually copy data between my Ansible controller and the target machine as a backup. In this way, rsync utility will guarantee that the data transfer are minimized to the minimum possible. So every time a file change on the Ansible host will be transferred only the modification. Welcome to my Ansible controller terminal. First of all, let me introduce my example directory that is under copy file to remote hosts. Here I have one directory that is called examples that uh, has only two text files, as you can see, report.txt and report2.txt. Please notice that the first time file has a creation date of 4th September and the second 17th of January, but they have the same content, some uh, test report.txt file. Now let me connect to the destination the my demo.example.com host via SSH with DevOps as username. As you can see, the home directory is empty, so we have no example backup directory. Let me verify that the rsync utility is installed, and actually it is. As you can see, this is a Red Hat machine, so I'm using RPM command. Now let me disconnect and actually copy the file. Ansible playbook, let me specify my inventory file under demo directory and my Ansible playbook code that is called rsync.yml. The execution will be pretty fast. First the task is to verify that rsync utility is installed and it is, then transfer data to the target machine. These are only two little files of text, so not a big deal. Change status means some operation were performed. What happens if we execute again? Well, we receive OK status, which means no further modification are needed. So it looks like that Ansible successfully transferred the, the file. Let's verify together. Let me list the content of the DevOps home directory. 
and now we have example dash backup directory using three you have a clear vision that there is one directory and two file underneath so let me cut report txt yes as the same content as the source file but let me highlight also that has the same creation date as in my source machine so great job ansible and great job async utility now let's suppose uh, that there is a change in the directory structure so for example let me create one new file report free txt so let me use a touch command to create an empty file under my example directory report free txt here we go now let me synchronize again with ansible playbook we are going to receive uh, one change status which means some operation were performed and it is let's us verify the content of the target directory so under example backup examples we have a report free txt and as you can see the date is perfectly up to date so good job ansible Now you know how to back up using rsync with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment, and in general, keep in touch with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.